Less than 48 hours, another black male is killed after being shot by a police officer. Thank you for joining us, everyone. I'm Sherry Jackson. And I'm Jim Dunaway. Welcome in tonight. Once again, the interaction with police is captured on video. This one even streamed live on Facebook. CBS 42 News reporter Mike McClanahan live tonight in Birmingham with what people are saying here in town. Mike? Well, Jim, you know, a growing number of people are ready and willing to capture police encounters on videotape with smartphones like this. With a push of a button, they can show the world. Activists and officers, though, tell me that the trend towards transparency is having complicated consequences. Scenes like this are why Birmingham activist Frank Matthews says he's glad people are becoming conditioned to record interactions with police. Absolutely. You need everything you can, especially since we've seen how many with the video are still getting off. So the chances, you still have a greater chance of having something than nothing. Videos have played a huge role in spreading the word and the outrage associated with fatal shootings by police officers. At the same time, Matthews says he and many other people are disillusioned with the outcome of cases which they believed were cut and dry. Rice was killed there in, in Cleveland. That was captured on video, but they still find ways to justify it. When an officer sees people videotaping, you know, Five, six years ago, it would cause an alarm. Now it's just reality. Sergeant Heath Boackle with the Fraternal Order of Police agrees that having video of police encounters can be a good thing. And I encourage people to videotape things. You know, where there's some departments that don't have body cameras, I don't understand why they don't. He does not approve of making judgment calls about cases based only on viral video clips. What I ask people to do is to believe in the criminal justice system and believe in the FBI and people of that magnitude that are going to investigate these, each incident, to the fullest. Now, another area where Matthews and Boackle seem to agree is that if society as a whole loses confidence in law enforcement, the nation could be heading down a dangerous path. Live in Birmingham, Mike McClanahan, CBS 42 News.